Thousands of people came to the visitation for Amy Beverland School Principal Susan Jordan, who died saving the lives of students in the path of a bus at school earlier this week. And there was one moment in particular that we wanted to share with you tonight, a moment of love and tenderness as a child came to say thank you. Now a student in a wheelchair leaving the visitation had just placed flowers on Mrs. Jordan's casket. The girl is one of the children the principal saved. The accident injured her legs, and the effort to be here just days after going to the hospital deeply touched Susan Jordan's family. She can't walk yet. Her legs are is wrapped up, but yet uh, her, her grandparents brought her in in the wheelchair, and she had flowers that she wanted to place at the casket. Wow. What did that make you think when you saw that happen? Uh, overwhelmed again, tearful, even talking about it. I can't hardly speak without cracking up. Thank you so much, Bob, for coming out and talking to me. Thank you, sir. The funeral for Susan Jordan will be tomorrow at 3 p.m. at St. Luke's United Methodist Church on the north side of Indianapolis, and we will stream that service at WTHR.com. And there have been so many wonderful messages this week shared about Principal Jordan and other educators who have made a difference in people's lives. Now, if you share yours, remember to use the hashtag for Ms. Jordan. And Governor Pence is ordering flags at state facilities in Marion and Vanderburg counties to fly at half staff tomorrow in Susan Jordan's honor. And he's encouraging others to join in that tribute.